Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of this junk journal process. Um, I really tried really hard to actually film the whole process and I was struggling the entire way. Nothing was going right, so I'm just going to show you what I ended up doing. So, first of all, I made a closure here. All I did was um, measure out the middle here, which was four and a half inches because this is a nine inch book and punched holes with my crocodile and put in eyelets and made that front and back closure here and I just used the leftover material from the spine and ripped them into strips so it looks really vintage and bohemian. Then with my four signatures that I had prepared I went ahead and sewed them in and I used wax linen thread and I left the strings long in the middle of all the signatures so I can add charms. So this ended up turning out really great. I think that it looks really vintage but it also looks nice and clean. It's everything fits within this book. And then the other thing I did was in the middle of the signature, I left a big gap in between the two signatures. So there's two on this side, two on this side. I left a pretty big gap because I punched a hole with the crocodile and added a tassel ring. And basically it's a brad with a ring at the end of it. Oops, that was my glue that just fell on the ground. So it's this large brad. And once I put it in, I placed it in like this, and this was sticking out at the top of the book, and I just snipped it off with some jewelry pliers. And to cover up that sharp edge, I glued this ribbon down the middle and made sure that I left um, the ribbon long enough to be um, the double the length of the double the height of the book. So what that does is, this is glued down, it covers up that sharp edge, it cleans up the middle of the book, and then now I have a bookmark that I can put anywhere in the book. It just works out great. So, um, that's what I did here. And then the next video, I'm going to go ahead and add, decorate and add all of the ephemera. And I just wanted to show you everything that I fussy cut out. I don't even have all the pages fussy cut yet, but these are just um, little pieces of ephemera. And then with the tags and the larger pieces, I actually glued them down first to a junk journal, or sorry, to a scrapbook page, and cut them out so they are thicker. Here's a little envelope. So these tags are thicker and ready to journal on. So I still have to punch a hole, put an eyelet through, and string it through, but it's double-sided now. And then the larger pieces, here's that envelope, and then these are journaling cards that are gorgeous. These are the ones that I printed on scrapbook paper on one side, and it was stark white on the other, so... I printed the digi kit on that and then I didn't have to back it up with anything. It was already double sided. So these journaling cards are gorgeous. I will link the um, digi kit from the Etsy shop down below. And I will also link my first video showing you the beginning stages of this journal. And then I will probably have a final video showing like what I stamped in here. I'm going to probably be stamping and adding all of the pockets. I'm probably going to do some sewing detail on those journaling cards and tags. And I'm going to be adding pockets and tuck spots and stamping and stickers and ephemera and all kinds of good stuff. So if you want to see that, make sure you like this video and subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified next time I post. Thanks.